really scary at first. Um, me being the, the sole breadwinner, I feel like I have to project a sense of strength and calm. And so I, I try not to get worked up over it, try not to project that fear, and I just say, you know, God will take care of us. He has in the past and He will in the future. Um, but inside, inside I'm usually screaming and kicking and I'm really scared. I worked with my dad and every day he would say, Seth, what are you doing with your money? You need to put it in stocks. You need to save it. You need to put money back. That was pretty rowdy and uh, I didn't do that. Now, I, of course, I calmed down after a few years and realized, hey, this is crazy. But I wasn't to the point to where saving was, savings was a big issue for me. I never, you know, live in the moment, ride fast motorcycles, wave runners. Um, just pay for what you can right then and don't worry about saving. But I wasn't thinking for the future. I wasn't thinking for my wife or my kids or, I wasn't thinking for the future. And it's very demoralizing. At first, it's not so bad. You kind of, you kind of act as if it's a vacation. Hey, this is this is a good thing at first, and you feel good, and you just kind of hang out and sleep in, and then you start looking for that. Hey, I, I've got time. I'll look for a job. And, Start looking for the job, and, and at that time, you, I was full of myself. I mean, I, I really thought that I could find one, and there was nothing. Months and months would go by, and I'm looking every day, and there's just nothing. I remember getting bills, scratching my head. <sighs> Where's this coming from? I don't even know where this is coming from. That's not peace. From the very beginning when we joined Financial Peace is when uh, we started the savings. We obeyed God and we did what He said and that's what carried us through that year and a half because we first obeyed God to start the savings with Financial Peace. At this point, the understanding of the Savings Club is to foster the idea of savings. It's like a, an incentive to, hey, savings is good. This is what we need to do. Even if it's just a little bit every week, it adds up to a, a lot. And it really does. And the accountability of people in that room that, hey, you know, how's your savings coming? Or, because we all put down how much money we're savings that week and everyone sees it and we all talk about it in tithing. In tithing. Every week, I write the check, every week. Not occasionally, not ho humbly, every week because that's when Satan attacks you. That is, when you are writing that tithe check, that's when Satan's attacking you. Let me clarify and be very, straight here. To save money, you have to change your lifestyle. Plain and simple. I mean, you can't live lavishly. Lavishly, You can't go nuts and just eat out every night and think that uh, you're going to have enough to save because you're always going to find something to spend it on. Always find something to spend it on. So. That's why you need to save. Because of financial peace, because of the Savings Club at church, we have the tools. We know what we need to do in order to save. It's an incredible discipline to save. But when you see what savings can do for you, what you see what God's plan in savings can do, um, you become more committed.